Hello everyone, welcome back to Short Code, and this is what we're going to be making today. As you can see, there's a button, it says play, and if we press it, it plays a sound, which is uh, pretty awesome. So we're going to be learning today how to make sounds in Kivi, so let's get right into it. So I'm just here in a new Python file, and the first thing we're going to do is to import our app from kivi.app import import app. And then we're going to want to import sound loader. And basically what this is, is it'll load our sounds in so we can actually play them. So from kivi, from kivi.core.audio import, I wish I could type, import sound loader, sound loader. And once we've imported sound loader, we'll just import a box layout. So from kivi.ux.box layout, import box layout. Now that we have that imported, we want to create our app class, which we'll inherit from app. So we can do class my app, and it'll inherit from app. And we have a build method, of course, and it'll have self. And we can just return. Uh, we don't have anything to return at the moment. But now this is where we're going to create our box layout class, which we will return as our root widget, and it'll contain the button, but when we press it, it'll play a sound. So class. Let's call it sound player, and it can inherit from box layout. And from here, we're going to want to create a method called play sound. So it can be called anything you want, but I'm just going to call it play sound. And it's going to have self. And then we're going to create a variable called sound, and we're going to set it equal to sound loader dot load. And then your audio file. Now in here, in in the same um, directory as my uh, Python file. I have a mp3 file and it's just called audio.mp3. So here we're going to want to do audio.mp3. You'll need to find your own mp3 file. Make sure you put it in the same directory that your Python file is in. And now that we've loaded in the sound, we need to actually play it. So we can do if sound, we can do sound.play. So basically if sound here, it just checks to see if the audio has been loaded in properly. And if it hasn't, it won't play it. So it basically just stops there being an error. And now in the my.kv file, remember it needs to be called the same thing as your app class, minus the app. So if it's going to be called my app, it needs to be called my.kv. And in the kv file, we're going to want to select the sound player class. We can do this with a um, less than symbol, sound player, and then close that. And then here we'll just have a button, and the text text can be set to play and then on press can be set to root root dot play sound and down here we need to return sound player and then we need to instantiate the my app class so my app dot uh, instantiate it and then my app dot run and if we run it now we can see we get a button it says play if we press it we get a sound um some other things we can do is we can set the volume of the sound, so we can do sound.volume equals, it's on a scale of 0 to 1, so if we did it at 0 0.5, that would be 50% volume, or if we did it at 0 0.1, it would be like 10% volume, for example. So if we run it now, we get play, press it, and it'll play a sound at 10% volume. And if you have any questions about sounding Kivi, then you can just leave them down below. If you would like to see how to use a filter function in Python, then you can click on this video here. Otherwise, that's it from me. Cheers and goodbye.